Hey there, everybody. This is a video that's going to show you how to record in Smart Music for a test. So as you can see on the screen, I have my Smart Music main page open, and I am going to record today Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So under Assignments Due, you can see I have my Twinkle Twinkle Little Star test, and I'm going to click on Start to start my assessment. First thing I do is I'm going to select my instrument. So I play violin, so I'm going to select violin, hit OK, and it's going to open my assessment. Now while I'm waiting for it to open, there are a couple things that you'll notice right away. So under instructions for assignment, my instructions are record yourself playing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. You may change the tempo if you want to play it slower. Do not record it faster than a tempo of 80. So tempo is telling me that I need to change the speed of how fast I'm going. So once I have read my instructions, I'm gonna hit close. And the first thing I'm gonna go is, do is I'm gonna go to tempo. And hopefully you can see up the screen, it's set at 90. Well, my teacher told me not to go faster than 80. And I'm thinking I'm even going to go slower. So I'm going to type in 70. 70 is pretty much a, a really pretty good starting tempo for this one. Because remember, I want to do my very best. So the next thing I'm going to do is I am, if I wanted to play through it first, I could press play. And this is what's going to happen if I do that. This is not going to record me yet, but just watch. So I paused it. You can hear, though, that there's a metronome. That's the click. And you can hear the backing track. So if I wanted to play before I was going to take my test, that's the option I would choose is just press play. And it's not going to record me. It's just going to allow me to practice. But let's say I am ready to do my test. Okay. So make sure that if you've been practicing, you move the blue cursor over to the beginning. So to record, I am going to press the record button. So right now you're going to see me play Twinkle. All right, here I go. First thing I need to do is I need to check that my microphone is working. So when I hit record, this is going to come up. I don't need to do anything except select this mode and device. And then I'm going to click test your microphone. You'll hear this weep sound. That's the sound that the microphone is working. And if you hear that, you're going to get this green thing saying, success, you're ready to perform. Now, sometimes there's some issues with this, so make sure that you have your headphones unplugged. A lot of times if there's a problem with the smart music picking up your microphone, it's because you have headphones plugged in, or it's because you might have muted your microphone on your computer. So if, as long as those aren't an issue, you should be good to go. So I'm going to hit start, and then you're going to get my countdown, and then I will take my test. So I have just recorded my test. As you can see, I did pretty well. So if the notes are all lit up green, that's a sign that you played them correctly. You can see I have one little yellow note in here, and that's because Smart Music said that I was a little bit late. Now, if I had wrong notes, they would be red. So a, a sign of a good take is if you see a lot of green notes. You can also see how you did by going up to the upper left corner. You can see now there is something with a green checkbox and it says 98%. That is the score that Smart Music gave my assessment. And I'm going to go and say, gee, yeah, that was pretty good. 
I think I'm going to submit that for my grade. So here is what I do to submit. Also in the upper left corner, you will now have three buttons. You have delete, save, and submit. If you're happy with your take, what I suggest to do first is to listen to it. You'll also see that there's this play button that's blue that is now lit up. This allows me to listen to my recording. So let's take a listen. So there's me playing. I sound pretty good. I'll probably listen to the entire thing just to make sure. But if I have decided that this is the take that I want to submit for my test, what you have to do is you have to click Submit. Do not click Save. Save doesn't submit your test. What Save does is it downloads a copy of it to your computer. So unless you want this test like as an audio file for you to listen to, you don't hit Save. You hit Submit. And that will send your test to me, your teacher. So let's go ahead and do that. If I wanted to say, I hope you like my test or something like that, I could, I could type a comment, but I don't need to do that. I can just click submit and now Smart Music will send my recording to my teacher so they can listen to it and give me a grade and it will show that my test has been submitted to them on their end. And that's how you record a test in Smart Music, okay? So let's say just for, um, Comparison, let's say I didn't do a very good take. If I didn't like what I had just done, to delete that and redo it, all I do is I click delete and that will delete my take and I can do it again. Now it will always give you an option if you to make sure that that's not a mistake, but once you've deleted it, you can't undelete it. So if you do wanna redo and redo until you get a take that you like, you can delete it and then you can start over. Okay, but I'm good with my take, so I'm not going to do that. But that is how you record a test on smart music.